The Wonders of the Universe, A Journey Through Space by M.K. Morphonios. Let's start by talking about our home planet, Earth. Earth is where we live and it's part of something called the solar system. The solar system is made up of the Sun and eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. It is also made up of other things like asteroids and comets. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and it's the only planet we know of that has life. On Earth, we have different types of land like mountains, oceans and deserts. We also have an atmosphere that surrounds the planet, which is made up of different gases like oxygen and nitrogen. The atmosphere helps protect us from the sun's harmful rays and keeps our planet warm enough for us to live. Now let's talk about the stars. Stars are giant balls of gas that produce light and heat. There are billions and billions of stars in the universe. When we look up at the night sky, we can see some of the stars that are closest to us. Some stars are bigger and brighter than others, and they come in different colors. Stars are organized into groups called galaxies. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which is a spiral-shaped group of stars. There are many other galaxies in the universe, some of which are much bigger than the Milky Way. Each planet in our solar system is different and has its own characteristics. Let's take a look at each one. Mercury is the smallest planet, and it's the closest to the Sun. Venus is the second planet, and it's the hottest planet in our solar system. Earth is the third planet, and it's where we live. Mars is the fourth planet, and it's known as the red planet, because it looks red in the sky. Jupiter is the biggest planet, and it has a big red spot on it. Saturn is known for its rings, which are made of ice and rock. Uranus is a light blue color, and it spins on its side. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun, and it's known for its strong winds. Do you know how the universe began? Scientists believe that it started with something called the Big Bang. The Big Bang was a huge explosion that happened about 13.8 billion years ago. It created all the matter and energy that make up the universe. Over time, the universe has changed and evolved into what it is today. There are some really strange things in the universe, like black holes, quasars, and neutron stars. Black holes are places where the gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. Quasars are incredibly bright objects that are formed by supermassive black holes. Neutron stars are incredibly dense and are formed when a star explodes. Scientists are still trying to learn more about these weird space objects. Finally, let's talk about how scientists explore space. There are lots of different ways that scientists explore space. One way is by using telescopes to look at things that are far away. Telescopes can see things that our eyes can't, like distant galaxies and stars. Some telescopes are even in space, like the Hubble Space Telescope. Another way that scientists explore space is by sending spacecraft to other planets and moons. These spacecrafts can take pictures about what they see. Sometimes scientists even send people into space to explore and conduct experiments on the International Space Station. No matter how we explore space, there's always something new and exciting to discover. Who knows what we'll find next? Thank you for watching The Wonders of the Universe, A Journey Through Space. All illustrations and animations were created exclusively with the use of artificial intelligence. Get now the ebook or the paperback edition on Amazon.com. The links are in the description.